Steam. I'd say the go-to place for PC gaming. I mean, sure, you got the Epic Store, the Discord Store, maybe the Microsoft Store, but they're all pretty much kind of new. Steam has been around for quite a some time in the PC gaming market. But one serious problem with Steam is the quality control, or at least lack thereof. You see, it's kind of reminiscent of the last episode of Solo Missions, where I covered the terrible Switch games that somehow made it onto the Nintendo eShop. How did these games come to Steam? But there are so many of them, I, I cannot make a video about them. And we all know they're all terrible. But there's one four-letter word that you can use to describe some of the other games on Steam that not many people pay attention to. Sure, there is shit, that's a good word to use, but I'm of course talking about free. Why yes, there are a fair share of free-to-play games on Steam. I mean, you got your Dota 2s, your TF2s, but then you got games like boring man let's hope i don't become a bored man after playing this hope it's fun what the fuck all right uh let's go play online let's join a random game um uh something just doesn't seem right here i mean i'm a stick figure running around shooting a gun very weirdly as well. I, I think I see what it is. There's no music. Mm hmm. Oh, I fell asleep. I really, I've been here for a while. I really have no idea what to do here. I get the game is called Boring Man, but like, what's going on? Like, I've been here for, oh, oh no. The, the, the timer is running out. I don't know what that was timing. Maybe I'm going to actually start something now. Or maybe it just ended and I didn't even know what I'm doing. I, 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 I just won. Let's go! Let's go! I win! I still don't know how I won. Oh. Well, was I was I not playing with anybody? Look, you might think winning is motivation to keep playing. But nope. We're moving on. Now for this next game. Uh, do you know the game Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course you do. Uh, but do you know um, Bernie Sanders? That's right. Next up is Super Bernie World, baby. I like the... Koopa Troopa there. Uh, what am I getting myself into? Here it is! Super Bernie World, and it's so small for some reason. Well, what, what's this over here? Pitching for Bernie. Please vote for Bernie Sanders. Also, please join us in helping by donating or volunteering for Bernie. You can learn more on the Bernie Sanders campaign website. Alright, so we're on the website for real now. Get the gear. Will will you fight Unisex T? I don't know. Will I? Bernie 2020. Yeah, baby. Not me. Us. Tote bag. Let's see what else he's got. Hello. Okay. Oh, so I just swipes once. Bernie. In case you just want a shirt that said Bernie on it. Okay. Oh, there's only four items. So the game starts off with a discussion about Medicare, and then you start playing Mario. You know what? Never in my life did I ever think I'd be playing a 2D platformer with Bernie Sanders. Okay, I mean, it is the year 2020.
Are you seriously not gonna let me break the fucking blocks? Okay, we're almost at the end. There we go. All right. Whoa, watch me here. Oh, it just killed him. All right, now time for Louisiana. I don't remember Louisiana and New Mexico looking the exact fucking same. Is this the fire? Yes, it is. It's the fire flower. And we got... Elmer Fudd, coming out of trash cans. I don't know what this game is. Alright, done with that one now. Oh damn, I'm already at the castle level. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I, I'm I kind of scared to see the boss. It's gonna be Trump? Hillary? Kanye? You know what? I want to play more of this game, man. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, and how come when I have the fire flower and I got hit, I'm now just a tiny little Bernie? Alright, so I defeated Jim Jordan, and he's in fucking jail now. And now we're on to World 2. Alright, so a bunch of nothing happens, and now we're at Ohio. A.K.A. the second castle level. Jesus. Alright, I wonder who the boss is now. It should be a giant water monster. In the coming decades, the wars may not be fought over oil, they may be fought over water. Oh, it's just Jim Jordan again. So I think I'm going to call quits on Super Bernie World for now, but um, we're going to move on to B. What, the letter B? Or the bug? Both. It is B. Nothing more, nothing less. Just B. Oh my god, I didn't notice that the fucking footage froze like this. Guess I gotta use other footage and pretend it's mine. Now don't worry, I did actually get to play the game myself. In fact, completely. A little too long. But, I didn't know that the game was that fucking powerful, you know. Hopefully we get a game that simulates the life of a bee good enough to justify how powerful it is. I've already fucking played the game, so... You already know the answer to that. Look, do you want me to tell you what this game is, pretty much? You fly around as a bee. Did you think that there is more? There is not more. This is all you do. And it's not even like it's open world or anything. I mean, it's a fucking bee simulator. I don't know what to expect here. But I was expecting more than just the perimeter. And you also glitch through the bottom of the stage and I, I don't know I was playing this for a good like half a fucking hour although you wouldn't be able to tell cause my footage but ah what the fuck don't play this for a half hour man I want to see what the reviews on steam say alright uh, this dude does not recommend it at all truly groundbreaking technology is at work here you can see every individual blade of grass and hair on B perfectly. Oh, that's the dude's name, B? Perfectly rendered in full 3D. Immersive day slash night cycle with realistic weather. Well, you're praising it, but you don't recommend it. The lore for B is incredibly detailed, but I wanted to quickly discuss my own fan theory. Oh, God. As B can fly through the Earth, we can assume he's some sort of ghost. I I can't read longer than that, alright? Alright, this dude recommends it. This game is the best experience I've ever had in my life. Alright, that's... I mean, I don't know your life, but... 
that should probably mean something big, um, unless you have a very boring life, you know. Everything about this game is perfect, starting from the music, the graphics, and most importantly, it has to be the best B controls in history. There will never be another B game nearly as good as this one. Every person on the planet should play this. If they would, we would have world peace. A life-changing experience, mentally and physically. Thanks, B. Very cool. Uh, and this, uh, this review just has uh, letter B. 2017's masterpiece, B, is a classic. Must have for any B. I am out of words. Breathe and will continue living knowing I've already passed the peak of my life after experiencing this game. Download it and play it. It's an unforgettable journey, and through it all, you will be shown who you can really be. You know what? Reading up on those reviews, I think I'm gonna take a liking to B. I think it's more than a B plus. But to find out who I am, wanna know what I need? A Colonel Sanders dating simulator, that's what I need. <laughs> I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator. That's a mouthful. I also love how it says continue and load game when you haven't played the game yet, and in between the two is new game. Welcome, chef. Oh, I'm a chef now. Alright. Hmm, I'm changing myself. I like... Gerg. So right now, it's sort of just not really a dating simulator at all. It's actually more like waking up to go to culinary school. If it isn't my favorite student, but the dog is talking? Why is the dog the teacher? My brain fucking hurts right now. I, I'm so bored. Nothing's happening. I have to sit through all this dialogue. Which most dating simulators, I guess, are like that. But, like, this isn't giving me any dating advice. Also, some random-ass fucking student just came pretending to be a zombie. He's dressed up as a chef and everything. Oh. Fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Two good options. But which will you choose? Sit by Colonel Sanders or sit by best friend? Why would I not sit by Colonel Sanders when I have the chance? But I actually have a better question. Why am I going to school with Colonel Sanders? What the fuck is even happening? Now we're in lunch? Uh, just imagine just at a lunch table, Colonel Sanders is just sitting there with a bunch of, like, kids. <sighs> I don't know. I, I can't. This is so boring. I don't know what I was expecting for a fucking <laughs> Colonel Sanders dating simulator. Oh, I know. I was expecting a dating simulator, not a fucking culinary school simulator that happens to have Colonel Sanders in it. Like, I'm sure later on in the game, there's some dating advice in case you need it. Or maybe I can touch on that some other time. But this video's gone on long enough. So, I just want to say... It's boring, or as just weird a lot of these games were. They're free. I can't get too mad. So, try, time to play a real game, though. Uh, let's play Fall Guys. I... I, I Got it for free, but it was... It wasn't really free. Fuck me. This is rotting my brain. Ah, 